there are two interesting phenomena that arise based on gas motion, diffusion and effusion. Imagine a container with two different gases separated by a divider. Then we remove the divider. The gases are in constant motion. Thus, will eventually, after some collisions, mix. This is called diffusion. Now imagine the container with a divider, but the gases are mixed in only one half of the container and the other half is a vacuum. If the barrier has a small slit, the gas particles will escape the chamber that they are in and go into the other chamber. This is called effusion. Diffusion is the mixing of gases, while effusion is the process where a gas escapes from one chamber to another through a small opening. Rate of effusion is the time for the gas to effuse, and usually reported in units of volume per unit time, like milliliters per minute, for example. And this is dependent on gas velocity. Recall, the root mean square velocity is the square root of 3RT over the molar mass of the gas. Here we see the root mean square velocity of two gases. Thomas Graham proposed a simple yet elegant equation to compare two gases under the same temperature and pressure conditions. Since the square root of 3RT is a constant, we can say that the effusions of two gases are inversely proportional to the square root of their molar masses. Here's the proportional relationship without the square root of 3RT. Simply take the ratio of both sides. And here's Graham's law. Notice how the rates are inversely proportional to the square root of the gas's molar mass. Now, if you know the rate and molar mass of some gas, you can compare rates to find the molar mass of an unknown gas. Let's do an example. A flammable gas made up only of carbon and hydrogen is found to effuse through a porous barrier with a rate of 1.50 milliliters per minute. Under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, it takes an equal volume of bromine vapor, a rate of 0.48 milliliters per minute to effuse through the same barrier. Calculate the molar mass of the unknown gas and suggest what this gas might be. Because we're given effusion data of two gases, we can use Graham's law to compare the unknown gas to the known gas. It doesn't matter which gas is gas one or gas two, I typically assign the unknown molar mass as the numerator. Therefore, bromine can be gas one and the unknown gas can be gas two. The unknown rate will be in the denominator on the left side, and the bromine data goes here. Since I'm not using the gas law constant R, I can use units of grams per mole for the molar mass. The unknown is inside a square root, so we'll have to square both sides, then multiply the bromine mass to get the mass of the unknown by itself. Solving this gives us a molar mass of 16 grams per mole to two significant figures. Methane is the likely unknown since its molar mass is 16.05 grams per mole.